Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 20 of Skin into Glory. And uh, in the previous episode, we managed to promote ourselves to Division 3, and because of that, I thought it was time to actually kind of change up our team a little bit. And uh, you can see we actually uh, picked up some new players. Mostly lone players, but also some fresh new players, which we actually bought. And uh, it's actually the return of this guy again, Ben Arfa. We actually still had him for two games. And uh, he was actually playing very good when we used him last time around. Uh, scored five goals in six games and one assist. So I decided to use him into this team as well, since we were actually able to use him. And then uh, we also have Martial, Matuidi, and also Remy picked him up for 5.8k. A striker with four-star skill moves, so it uh, looks pretty good. And um, yeah, once those players run out of the contracts, I'm probably thinking of uh, getting like the full version if they obviously perform well. But um, they're quite expensive too, so there might be one or two replacements, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, also picked up two new kits, uh, one from the Belgian League from Standard Liège and also the, uh, I think the Away kit from Everton, which I actually quite like. Most people actually dislike it, but... Um, actually like it quite a lot. But anyway, we're going to go on what will be the first game of the episode with a brand new team. And uh, we come up against a, a Dutch side. Uh, not really the greatest looking team yet in from Stecklenburg though. But uh, it was just an okay looking team I think. And uh, we started things off in the 18th minute with Remy after a nice skill move. I took the shot there near post finish. Hit the post. Very unlucky. Then uh, we move on in the 26th minute. My opponent has the ball here with Vincent Johnson. Decides to play it on through all the way to the right hand side to Narsing. Who crosses it into Davy Klaassen, gets his head onto it and makes it 1-0. Terrible positioning uh, for my goalkeeper, I have to say. And um, yeah, straight from kickoff, we went on the run already here with Martial, Remy and also Ben Arfa. The three French players who actually linked up very nicely uh, with each other. And uh, you can see right there, a great goal there from Martial on his debut. Uh, making 1-1 in this game and getting ourselves back immediately. And uh, these were the halftime stats. We had three shots on target. My opponent had 61% possession. Only one shot, which was the goal, I think. And um, yeah, that was about it, really, because he actually played a lot on possession. And once we went into the second half, he decided to do the exact same thing again, pass it around the back. We actually set a lot of pressure, and uh, he made a huge mistake. And we actually end up scoring the 2-1 giving ourselves the lead in this game and um, yeah I was really really happy that uh, that we got that lead in the game because he kind of annoyed me uh, because of his play style I mean everyone has their own play style I use a lot of skill moves which I probably annoy a lot of people with as well but I mean just casually playing it around the back the whole time really is is really annoying and I think that most people find it annoying as well but uh, anyway we continue on in the second half creating more and more chances we do make a 3-1 here as well with Matuidi also getting his first goal in the team and um, yeah it was a pretty nice looking one as well and uh, in the second half we end up creating more and more chances some nice passing uh, between Danilo and Banarfa. Banarfa going through went with the chip shot unfortunately hit the crossbar would have been nice to make it 4-1 as well and game over then uh, from a goal kick again he decided to pass it uh, to one of his defenders I think uh, we mentioned it to separate with Remy he also gets his first goal of the game and uh, in his team as well nice uh, finish there with his weaker foot and a really nice first touch as well I have to say uh, then we move on in the 76th minute here with Martial on the left hand side with some skill moves uh, we cut it back here too Remy went with a cheeky finish but then from the rebound it is Bernarfa who slots it home picks up a second goal and uh, pretty much makes an end to the game because that is how the game ended completely dominated this guy and uh, it was pretty much a perfect uh, perfect start to this new division so uh, yeah we move on what will be the second game of the episode unfortunately the final game already with the lone version of Ben Arfa but uh, we were actually very close to the coin amount we actually needed for Ben Arfa so uh, we were looking to, uh, to get his uh, like full version after this game as well but anyway going on will be the second game of the episode uh, we come up against a quite strong team in I think the 4-1-2-1-2 formation and the narrow version with two really deadly strikers in uh, Musa and also Rashford he also had the screen version of Payet and also a legend in Valderrama not really the best legend of course but um, he had a great team and we started things off hitting the crossbar unfortunately with Remy then a few minutes later, some great stuff from uh, Ramsey on his side. He picks it up here with the legend Valderrama. Cuts inside the box, goes for a shot across goal. Just went wide. Then uh, he picks up a corner, which he played on short to Valderrama. Completely beats Ben Arfa. Goes with some skill, moves, goes for a shot across goal. And then Rashford for an open net he missed. I couldn't believe it. I already counted it as a goal. And uh, he still missed. So uh, we got very lucky. But then a couple of minutes later, he does make it 1-0 with Rashford himself. And uh, I felt it was a deserved lead for him since uh, he did get most of the big chances at the start of the game. And also going into the second half, after three minutes, he gets himself the first chance as well in the second half. A nice shot from, uh, from Rashford, I think it was again. A good save from Diego Alves. And uh, immediately after it, we went on the counter here with uh, Martial and also Matuidi. A nice one-two pass there from uh, Matuidi back to uh, Martial. Cuts in here with some short turns. Then he falls over the knee of Klein inside the box and that meant we picked up a penalty so uh, the perfect start 
into the second half since we were only still a few minutes in. Ben Arfa steps up for it and we actually put it in. I have to say though, it's definitely not my best penalty by far because it just felt really awkward for some reason because I'm kind of used to it that um, I'm not actually taking penalties with the arrow, which actually kind of helps you taking penalties. But as I said, I'm kind of used to actually taking penalties without them. So it was kind of like confusing for me. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys experience the same because I might actually in the future just take the arrow off because I just feel like I actually take my penalties better that way. Kind of sounds strange because it's supposed to help you better. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys experience the same thing because of that glitch, which I still think is in the game. But anyway, moving on towards the end of the game, uh, we were already 2-1 up after a goal, I think, from Remy. Then we do make it 3-1 here as well with Barnarfa, second goal of the game, making it game over. And uh, that's also how the game ended. So uh, we ended the game off with a bang with Barnarfa, got the man of the match, two goals. And now uh, we have to say goodbye, unfortunately, to him. But um, as I said before as well, before we went into, uh, into this game, um, we actually were very, very close uh, with the uh, amount of coins we needed uh, to actually pick up the uh, version of Ben Arfa, which we obviously wanted, which is the uh, normal version. And I picked him up for 39k, which uh, means that we don't have any coins left. I actually had to discard a couple items in order to buy him since I think we had like uh, 38k. I think we were like 1k short or something. But um, yeah, we got the regular version of Ben Arfa now, which is awesome. Hopefully, uh, once we are out of this division, we are able to uh, to pick up the regular version of Martial or something. Would be awesome as well. But anyway, I decided to switch teams because it was low on chemistry. And we move on what will be the final game. And we come up against a really strong La Liga side with uh, a random Douglas Costa as his right winger on complete low chemistry. Also the wrong position. So don't really know what is up uh, with that. But um, you probably was just a big fan of him. But anyway, started things off here with our Douglas Costa. Unfortunately, couldn't get it like a proper shot in. Hope that he went with a bicycle kick or something, but I uh, took the first touch. A terrible shot there from him. The 13th minute, we get a chance here as well. Which Quadrado shot across goal. Good save there from Oblak too. Then uh, from a corner, play it on short. Cross it in with uh, Douglas Costa. We get a header in with Asamoa, hit the post. Then from the rebound, we go with a diving header. Put it in and uh, give ourselves a lead in this game. Just before of time, my opponent gets himself a big chance here too. Two good saves there from Perry. The, the second one was really easy. But I could have easily made a 1-1 there. Then uh, going into the second half, picked up a corner. My opponent tried to go on the counter. We set a lot of pressure with our midfielders. We pick it up here with Perotti. Played immediately on through to Cordado, who turns around and puts it into the bottom corner to make it 2-0. And uh, basically make it game over. Because uh, towards the end, we occurred more and more chances. We were very, very close making it 3-0. And uh, we actually do score 3-0 right now. A really nice volley there from uh, Allen on the edge of the box with his weaker foot as well. And uh, once we made it 3-0, you know, my opponent decided uh, he had enough and he decided to rage quit, which you can see right there. And that's also how the game ended. So uh, a really good start to this division, I have to say. Three wins in a row. Hopefully we can uh, continue this on and then uh, move on to uh, Division 2, which I think is going to be the toughest division. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll see that soon. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.